reactions, balancing equations, rates of reaction, and chemical equilibrium? To have a balanced equation, both sides of the equation have to have an equal amount of each element or compound. And you do this by adding a coefficient in front of it. So in this example, it's balanced because both sides have two potassium, two chlorine, and six oxygen. Okay, so there's different types of reactions. So first kind is synthesis, um, which is when you're combining two things. So A plus B is AB. And an example of that is eight iron plus SA is eight iron sulfur. And then um, decomposition is when you're breaking apart two things, which is AB uh, is A plus B. And an example of that is 2NaCl is 2Na plus Cl2. So the next type is uh, single replacement, which is A plus BC is B plus AC. And an example of that would be 3Na plus AlCl3 is 3NaCl plus Al. And then the next one is double replacement, which is AB plus CD is CB plus AD. Um, example of that would be AGNO plus NACL is AGCL plus NANO3. And then the last type is combustion, is when you're combining something with um, oxygen gas, which is always going to be A plus O2 is AO2. An example of that would be 4FE plus 3O2 is 2FE2. Okay. What about organic combustion? Tell them how that works. So if it's CH4, what are my products? If it's CH4 plus O2, what are my two products? Always of organic combustion. Uh, oxygen gas and... Not oxygen gas. Two products of organic combustion, always, always, what are they? Carbon and oxygen. Not carbon and oxygen. Carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide and water, right? Any organic combustion, carbon dioxide and water, right? Okay, keep going. Chemical equilibrium. The state in which the rate of foreign reaction and the rate of reverse reaction are balanced because they take place at an equal rate. So the equilibrium constant is a ratio of the um, product concentration to the reactant concentration. So to find the constant, you raise each concentration to the power of its coefficient. And so in this, in, uh, in this example, none of them are raised to a power because none of them have a coefficient. And you only use gases in the equation. Wait, you only use gases? Yeah, only gases are used in the or, equation. Or, or aqueous. aqueous. Generally speaking, just gases or aqueous. No pure solids, no pure liquids. Okay, keep going. Okay, so the last thing is uh, rates of uh, reaction. So different things can affect the speed of the rates of reaction. And one thing to remember is the acronym CCST, which stands for concentration, catalyst, surface area, and temperature. And all of these speed up the rate of your reaction. Yeah. Show us your picture you did a potential energy diagram. Okay, yeah, so I just did a potential energy diagram. And um, so here is the potential energy of the reactants. And here's the potential energy of the product. Here's the activation energy, 